All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about word problems involving real numbers. So let's have this example. So we have Jackie ran a mile and a half on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and three-fourths of a mile on Tuesday and Thursday. How far did she, did she run in all? So um, we're going to set up the uh, days in a week. Of course, in not including the those not mentioned, the weekends. So it's given that Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, um, she ran um, a mile and a half. So that's one and a half. And then on uh, Tuesday and Thursday, it's three fourths of a mile. So it's three fourths. And then we are going to um, combine these all. So, um, by the way, this is part of real numbers because these are rational numbers. So we're going to put together uh, those with one and one half and those with three fourths. So it's easier for us to combine. So we have this um, one, two, and three. These are the whole numbers. So that's three whole numbers. And then if you combine this half and half, so that's another one whole. So that's four uh, in all. And then there's extra half here, which doesn't have pair, so that's why it's four and a half. Uh, but if if you want to do the longer method of adding fraction, like um, I have, as I have in, discussed in my other videos, I change the mix into improper form and then add it and then put it back into mix. That's that's the same answer, but it's longer. Uh, all right, so we have a uh, plus three fourths and three fourths. So three fourths, if you combine them, that's um, six fourths because three th plus three is six, and then just simply copy the denominator four. Now in this step, uh, we cannot combine this yet because they don't have the same denominator. So for it to be the same denominator, we are going to reduce this six fourths. So we're going to divide it by a common number. A common number that can divide both this top and the bottom which is both are divisible by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So that's why it's reduced to 3 halves, which is this, this is what we are after, to make it the same denominator. Now we can combine it, but uh, since this is in, in, in mixed form, so we're going to change it to improper first. So to change it to improper, we multiply 2 times 4, which is 8, and then add it here, plus 1. So 8 plus 1 is 9 and then copy the denominator. But I have a, also another a separate video about uh, changing mix to improper form. And then just simply um, add it with the three halves. So nine halves plus three halves, nine plus three is just 12, and then copy the denominator too. And then we can reduce this, 12 is divisible by two, which is equal to six. So that means she ran um, six miles in total. And another uh, problem is um, we have Mark has 100 marbles, 17 are bumblebee marbles, and what decimal number shows the fraction of marbles that are bumblebees? So um, first we're going to write the 100 marbles, and then um, it's given that 17 of those are um, bumblebee marbles, and the remaining 83 are um, the other marbles. We don't know what are those kind of marbles. So, um, well, it doesn't matter. What we are after is the 17 uh, bumblebee marbles. And what we, we are after, what decimal is this? So let's first put it in fraction with the 100 marbles or the total. So it will be 17 over 100. And to change it into decimal, of course, um, the main objective for changing fraction to decimal is to make the denominator 100. But this is already 100. So now you can just write it directly as a decimal, so 17 hundredths. Or another way to to change this into decimal is to, to divide it, 17 divided by 100. And then I have a separate video about how to divide um, numbers that will come up with decimals. So another uh, problem that involves real numbers, for example, is like this. So Val Valerie bought tickets to the zoo for the family. She bought three adults, uh, adult tickets for nine and fifty pesos, so, and two children's tickets for four fifty pesos each. How much did the ticket cost Valerie in all? 
So uh, we can write it in this way. We have three of uh, the nine fifty because there are three adults, and then and two of four fifty because there are two children. And we and then we can convert these uh, words into um, into operations, mathematical operations. So the of is actually in in math is times. So it will be three times nine fifty. And the and is just the same as plus. And then two of, so you can change of it into times, and then so it's going to be three times nine fifty and two times four fifty. So and then you just multiply three times nine fifty. So I have a separate video about multiplying decimals and a whole number. But um, you can also do it like this to mentally compute that it's three times nine is twenty seven. But then if uh, three times uh, 50 cents is 1 and 50 cents. So that's why 27 plus 150 is 2850. That's why this is the result of the product of this. But you can also do the longer method. Like what I have shown in my other videos about decimals. And then uh, plus. So I'm going to multiply 450 times 2. Or just simply add 450 times. Uh, I mean plus itself. So it's just simply 9. Then combining the two, so 2850 plus 9, so 28 plus 9 is uh, 37, and then it's copied to 50 cents. So in all, it's 37.50 pesos. And then another one is a parking garage. It's a five levels below ground. Each level is the same height. Considering ground level to be zero, the, depth, the fifth level of parking garage is negative 118.5 feet. What is the depth of the first level of the parking garage? So uh, we are going to illustrate it in this way. So ground will be the zero, and then there are five levels below it, where the last uh, or the fifth is negative one eighteen point five feet. So we are after the first level because that's what we are asked. So to solve this, we are going to um, uh, divide this negative one hundred eighteen point five by 5 so that we will know what is the distance between each level so divided by 5 so it will be 23.7 so um, I will not discuss the details of how divide we divide this because I have separate video about decimals dividing uh, with a whole number or another decimal so you can check on that for the details on how to divide so uh since we got 23.7 so that means each um level is having a height of 23.7 feet a distance from ground to first first to second second to third and so on so that means uh, the the level or the depth of the first level is negative 23.7 feet and that's the last example so i hope you have learned something from this video and please subscribe to my channel